You're reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 36 to 38. A sinful woman forgiven, which I believe it's uh, Mary of Magdalene. It says here, Then one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him, and he went to the Pharisee's house and sat down to eat. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and stood at his feet behind him weeping. And she began to wash his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and anointed them with the fragrant oil. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. I love this passage. Later on, uh, the Pharisees questioning, he's questioning the one who invited Jesus to come to dinner. He's questioning why. He said, um, this man, if he were a prophet, would know who and what manner of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And so Jesus went on to uh, describe and teach this man. His name was Simon, this Pharisee. Of two debtors that owed a creditor money, and both debts were canceled, but one debtor owed much and the other owed little. Who would be more grateful? And of course, the Pharisee responded, the one that owed more. And so here this, this woman is grateful because she sinned so much, a sinful woman. And so... um this passage, I, when I read it, I just, um, I'm just in awe in terms of the worship that we ought to have for our Lord. Um, it's inspiring, it's encouraging, and that's the type of worship we want to give to our God. This time around, I was just thinking of what could have been in the mind of this woman what was she holding into in her heart um, as a woman who was much judged by the world because of her sins? What was in her heart that she, when she came to Jesus, and was there at his feet worshiping him, her heart being poured out like the oil in the alabaster, I know oil is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. And I'm thinking here of her spirit, of her spirit being poured on out to the Lord. What was she holding in? And it just made me think that sometimes when we encounter people that have been through so much, we don't know what they're holding in. And so my prayer today is that we encourage one another to pour out our hearts to God, to, to whatever is laid in our hearts that we're just holding in, that we would just express it and show it. Many people are going through so much and we don't even know it. Not so much because, um, I don't know if it's because they're embarrassed or I, should I say even me, include myself. Um, but maybe they just don't feel worthy to feel what they feel. I don't know. Or um, maybe it is shame. But we know that the Lord Jesus despised the shame on the cross. And so uh, I just... I just pray that we are able to express ourselves, to really show one another how we feel inside. Um, the joy that we feel, the hurt that we feel, everything. We just lay it on out 
at Jesus' feet and um, that we would have no shame in expressing and showing what we feel inside and that we would do so and just in love worship our Lord. And so I pray that we just continue to grow in our worship, that we continue to grow in our worship and our love for our God and for one another in Jesus' name.